से ए कॉन्ग्रेंट टू बी मॉड एन मीन्स ए एंड बी आर इंटीजर्स एंड इज ऑल्सो एन इंटीजर वॉट डज दिस मीन्स मीन्स दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डेफिनेशन गिवेन इन योर बुक द टू इंटीजर्स ए एंड बी आर कॉन्ग्रेंट मॉड एन दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू योर डेफिनेशन गिवेन द टू इंटीजर्स टू इंटीजर्स A and B, A and B are congruent, congruent modulo, mo, uh, modulo n. A and B are congruent modulo n. That is, A minus B is uh, divisible by. divisible by n so in the nut cell we can say that n divides a minus b so that means a minus b is equal to n k where k belongs to integer z integer so what you have to remember is that <coughs> <coughs> what you have to remember it is not a tough subject chapter what you have to remember that only this thing that is a congruent to b means a and b are integers a congruent to b mod n this means n divides a minus b therefore a minus b is equal to n k where k belongs to z integer this is the meaning of A congruent to B mod n. This is the this is the simple meaning. That means n divides A minus B. That means A minus B is divisible. That is A minus B is divisible by is divisible by n divisible by n. So that means A minus B divisible by n can be expressed as A minus B is equal to n k. Now I am going to do. two examples for you and uh, after that i will solve uh, some of the problems of your exercise that is now example 1 here find the integers find the integers find the integers in between in between 1 and 100 in between 1 and 100 which are uh, which are congruent to which are congruent uh, to 3 congruent to 3 mod 7 so here you see from 1 to 3 1 to 100 so let your n be an integer integer so according to your definition n congruent to 3 n congruent to 3 mod 7 you have to write it like this so what is the meaning of this meaning of this is this 7 divides n minus 3 and what is the meaning of this n minus 3 is equal to 7k where your k belongs to z i am just writing the meanings now from this since we have to find out the value of n so n will be equal to 3 plus 7k so our this n the limit of n is given from 1 to 100 the limit of n it is given and it is given from 1 to 100 so this becomes 3 plus 7k greater than 1 less than 100 our limit comes to this so here the main objective is to find the values of k so that the values of n will lie between 1 and 100 the main objective is this so we have to find the value of k so here you see if you subtract 3 both side then minus 2 less than 
सेवन के लेस देन नाइन्टी सेवन सो वैन यू डिवाइड इट बोथ साइड बाई के लेट मी चेक बाय द हेल्प ऑफ कैलकुलेटर वैन यू डिवाइड इट बोथ साइड बाई के दैट इज टू डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन दैट इज माइनस वी आर गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट से ग्रेटर देन के एंड लेस देन इफ यू आर डिवाइडिंग दिस नाइन्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टीन सॉरी नाइन्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन नाइन्टी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन वी आर गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट लाइक दिस थर्टीन पॉइंट एट एट फाइव सो हियर यू सी दैट माय लिमिट दिस माय लिमिट बिकॉज बिकॉज के इज एन इंटीजर सो आई एम बाउंड टू टेक द वैल्यू फ्रॉम के जीरो एंड लेस देन थर्टीन आई एम बाउंड टू टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ के फ्रॉम जीरो टू थर्टीन दिस इज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव हियर इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो बिकॉज द बाउंड्री ऑफ एन इज फिक्स इट इज फ्रॉम वन टू हंड्रेड एज पर क्वेश्चन सो हियर यू सी दिस द के एंड सिंस के इज एन इंटीजर सो द नियरेस्ट वैल्यू विल बी जीरो एंड थर्टीन now you place the value of k that is uh, greater than equal to i am taking greater than equal to because this is greater than therefore let me start from 0 and less than 13 so now if you hmm, take the value of k is equal to 0 and is equal to when it is k is equal to 0 it is 3 when it is 1 it is 10 similarly when it is 2 That is fourteen plus three seventeen, fourteen plus fourteen plus three seventeen, and we go on. And at last, when we take thirteen, so thirteen, uh, thirteen into seven, so this will be how much? Thirteen into seven, ninety one uh, plus seven, ninety eight. So this will be last number will be ninety eight. So these are the this is your answer this is all about it so let me check here the answer so here you see it starts from 3 and ends in 94 how can this be 94 this is 13 and 3k when you take n is equal to this is where n is equal to 0 it is 3 1 7 plus 3 it is 10 okay then again 2 14 17 so when you are going to take 13 so 13 uh, that is uh, 13 13 into 7 uh, 94 let me check the answer here here they have uh, the last number they have given 94 how can this be 94 let me check it so because here mm, your last value of k is 13 so k 13 uh, 13 that means 7 into 13 it is oh sorry sorry the last number is 94 you can see that is 7 into 13 that is uh, 91 plus 3 it is 94 so this is your answer and this is your answer now i am going to do your next example uh next example that is uh, example 2 again you see i am going to do the next example that is example 2 example 2 find all in integers uh congruent to 0 and 1 find all integers congruent to 0 and 1 mod 7 here two questions are lying in this example 2 in example 2 find all integers find all integers find all integers congruent Uh, congruent to zero and one mod dulo five. 
here two questions are lying here in this in this question there are two questions in your first question there are two questions because all find all integers congruent to 0 and 1 that means one is n congruent to 0 mod 5 and another is a n congruent to 1 mod 5 so there are two questions lying here so <clears throat> let n be an integer be an integer so n congruent to 0 mod 5 that means <coughs> 5 divides n minus 0 that means n is equal to 5k where k belongs to z and since the limit of n is not given to you yeah, nothing has been told about n so uh, we know that n is an integer so we have we will start from 0 so n will be like this 0 comma because nothing is given about n but and we know that n is integer and at the same time the limit of n is not given here so we have to we are bound to take both the positive and the negative value plus minus 5 plus minus 10 plus minus 15 it will move like this so you can check it the answer so you see n is 0 plus minus 5 plus minus 10 now for the next part again n congruent to 1 mod 5 so n congruent to mod means 5 divides n minus 1 so n minus 1 is equal to 5k where k belongs to z so here your n is equal to 1 plus 5k here again the same problem is here that the limit is not given to you and from the limit of it is not given to you so we are bound to take where k, limit of n we are we know that k, n is integer and we know that k is integer so the limit of n is not given to you so we have there is only possible way that is we will take k is equal to 0 so when k is equal to 0 your n will be 1 <coughs> when k is 1 it will be 6 when k is minus 1 it will be let me do one thing let me take the positive value in one side and the negative value in one side first we i took 0 so 0 then i took 1 so it is 6 then i took 2 11 then i took uh, 3 uh, uh, 15 16 15 uh, 15 16 and it will move like this and in the next case uh, i am going to take the negative values if i take minus 1 uh, minus 1 then it will be um, minus 4 if i take uh, minus 2 then minus 10 uh, minus 1 means minus 9 my if i take uh, minus 3 minus 15 uh, plus 1 it will be minus 14 and it will move like this so let me check the answer here you see that they have given the value of n uh, oh sorry from from k is equal to 0 the value is 1 sorry for k is equal to 0 the value is 1 so here they have given like this 1 uh, minus uh, 4 6 uh, minus 9 11 and it will go on like this because we do not know the limit of n so now i'm going to your exercise so i'm going to do the sums which are related to the examples which i have told you now i'm going to solve from your exercise so here you see that exercise uh, 3.5 your first question it is given to you determine determine the integers determine the integers integers in between in between uh, 50 and 100 in between 50 and 100 uh, which are congruent to 1 which are congruent 
which are congruent to one which are congruent to one modulo four which are congruent to one modulo four so the limit of n is given to you congruent to n so let n be an integer and be an integer and n congruent to 1 mod 4. So now as per your definition 4 divides n minus 1 that means n minus 1 is equal to 4k where k belongs to z integer. So now your n is equal to 1 plus 4k. So here you see the limit of n is given between, between, that means it does not touch 50 and it does not touch 100. So this is equal to, this is your n, uh, n. So this is 1 plus 4k that is greater than 50 and less than 100. Now, subtracting one both side, so this becomes 49 greater than 4k less than 99. So if you divide this 4 both side, that means your 49 uh, divided by 4, it comes out to be 12.25 12 greater than k less than and your 99 divided by 4, 4 it comes to be 24. 0.75. So here you see, uh, see the see, because k is an integer and everything is clear, the k is greater than 12.25. So the nearest integer greater than 12.25 will be 13, uh, equal to 13. And here the nearest integer which is less than this will be 24. So here you see the value of k is from 13 to 24, uh, 13 to 24. Now you can find out the value of n. So n will be equal to your 4 into 13, uh, 4 into 13 that is uh, 4 into 13 that is 52 uh, plus 1 that is 53. Your first number will be 53. Now similarly 14 that is uh, 4 into 1, 4, 56 plus 1, that is equal to 57. And similarly, it will go to 24. So, 4 into 24, 96 plus 1, that means 96, 7. So, this is your answer. So, let me check the answer here. Exercise 3.5. <coughs> uh, 3.5. First question here, 3.5, uh, first question here, it has only given you the value of k that is from 13 to 24, it has only given you the value of k, but <coughs> as per the question, determine the anti integer, they have not given you the, this actual, and actual the answer is, this, this is your actual answer. Let me check uh, once more, that is, uh, uh, 4 into 13, your 4 into 13, that is 52 plus 153, again 4 uh, into 14, uh, sorry, uh, 4 into 14, uh, uh, 4 into 14, that is 56 plus 1, that is uh, 57, it's correct, and your last number is k is 24, 4 into 24, that is 96, 96 plus 197. So, this is your answer. So, this is how we solve it. Your second question, find all integers between 70 and 130 which are congruent to 11 and mod 7. It's the same procedure you have to do. Everything is the same procedure. So, now I am moving to question number 3. <coughs> 3. Find all integers find all integers all integers 
all integers congruent to congruent congruent to two more modulo modulo uh, eleven. So all integers n the limit of n is not given, but we know that n is an integer. So according to let n be an integer, n be an integer. So according to your definition, that is n congruent to two mod eleven. This is n congruent to two mod eleven. So now as per your definition, that means eleven divides n minus two. That means n minus two is equal to eleven k, where k is equal to belongs to z. Now your n is equal to that is two uh, plus eleven uh, k. Now here because the limit of n is not given to you and uh, uh, we know that n is an integer, we also know that k is an integer. So we are bound to take both the positive and negative value. So it will start from this one zero. When it is zero, it will be two. Then, if you take positive one, then it will be eleven. Uh, eleven plus two, eleven uh, plus eleven um, thirteen. And if you take negative one, then minus eleven plus two, it will be your eleven uh, minus two. It will be minus nine. And similarly, if you take uh, plus two, twenty-two plus two, that is twenty-two plus two, this will be twenty-four. And if you take uh, minus, then minus twenty-two plus two, this will be minus twenty. And your answer will move like this. So let me check the answer of your third one. Let me check the answer. What is given in your book? So third, uh, they have taken. They have taken. Uh, the value of k zero plus minus one plus minus two, but as we have to find out the value of n, so this is your answer. And uh, mm, let me check one more once again. That is, if you take one, then eleven plus two, it will be thirteen. If you take minus eleven, then minus eleven plus two, that will be uh, my, uh, minus eleven plus two, that will be minus nine. If you take two, then 22, 2 into 11, 22 plus 2, 24. And if you take minus minus 20, uh, 2 minus 22 plus 2, this is minus 20. So this is your answer. So uh, this is your answer. Now my next question is question number four. What is the remainder? What is the remainder? You remainder, remainder when two to the power of fifty is divided by is divided by seven. Now my next question: What is the remainder when two to the power of fifty is divided by seventy? So this is fully an heat and trial method. This is fully an heat and trial method. So, first of all, we have to move from the grassroots level. That is, uh, from the grassroots level, because two to the power of fifty calculation of two to the power of fifty is not so easy. So, we have to. This is full, fully an heat and trial method. Now, I am going to show you uh, the the uh, how I am going to so solve this problem. You have to. Uh, this is you have to uh, while solving such type of problem. You have to use your own uh, that is technique to solve it. Here I am going to tell you this is this is a fully an heat and trial method. So now I will move from the grassroots level. So seven fours are twenty eight. So twenty eight here you see that. Your two to the power of five, two to the power of five. That means two into two into two into two into two. Two to the four to the eight, eight to the sixteen, sixteen to the thirty-two. This is thirty-two. Now, if you subtract uh, four from it, thirty-two minus four. That means twenty-eight. It is divisible by seven. 
you see that it is divisible by 7. Now again let us think of another way. If you take this 2 to the 4, uh, uh, 2 to the 4, uh, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. So here again your 16 minus 2, this will be 14, it is divisible by, uh, divisible by, it is divisible by, uh, D, V, divisible by, it is divisible by 7. But what is the problem here that is 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. Both this also satisfy and this also satisfy. But uh, what is the problem with this and uh, why this is favorable. Now here you see there is 4, 50. 50 is not divisible by 4. 4 1 ja 4, 1 0, 4 2 ja 8. So here you see 4 is not divisible by 50. So, so I reject it. But in this case you see your 5 is divisible by 50. So I accept this. Now what I have done? You see that why I rejected it? Because I have to reach to 2 to the power of 50. And 4 is, uh, 50 is not divisible by 4. But 5 is divisible by 4. So while taking the grassroots in the grassroots level, you must also remember that this number must be divisible, divisible by the, yes, the given number. This is the most important point. So I have rejected this. So I have accepted 2 to the power of 5. So now what happens that is uh, when you write according to the congruency rule, that means 2 to the power of 5 congruent 4 mod 7. That means 2 to the power of 5. 32 minus 4, 28 is divisible by 7. Now this is my grassroots level. From this I have to move to this. So 2 to the power of 10 is 50. Again squaring both sides this will 4 to the power of 10. Again 4 to the power of 10 it will create a havoc for me because uh, uh, I have to move again to a downward level. Now in the intermediate state, we will take an intermediate state. For this, I am going to this, this, do squaring both sides. I am going to do this is squaring both sides. Squaring both sides. When I square both sides, that means 2 to the power of 5, the whole square, congruent to 4 square mod 7. So this is 2 to the power of uh, 10, congruent to, this is 16. So here uh, mod 7. So now since this 16 is greater than 7, so I have to move to an another down, a down line. I have to move to, an, to a down line level because 16 is greater than 7. That means I have to move to a downward level. So your downward level will be 2 to the power of 10 congruent 16 congruent uh, how much 2? 2, 2 that is 16 minus 2 and this is mod 7. So now here your last answer is 2 to the power of 10 congruent 2 mod 7. Yeah. Now I can this uh, uh, to the whole power 5 both side. So here 2 to the power 10 to the whole power 5 congruent 2 to the power of 5 mod 7. This. There is no problem with me. So because this is 2 to the power of 50 congruent 2 to the power of 5 and this 2 to the power of 5 congruent 4 congruent 4 is mod 7. So here you see your 4 has become lesser than 7. So here I am going to stop. So you are at 2 to the power of 50 in congruent 4 in mod 7. So I am going to stop where here because 4 is less than 7. So I am going to stop here. You have to move unless and until your this number is less than 7. You have to move to the down to a, to a downward level. So now this 4 is less than 7. I stop here. So your remainder will be your 
remainder will be is 4. This is your remainder. This is your answer. So this is how we solve such type of problem. Now my next question is question number 5. Find the remainder. Find the remainder. The remainder when 41 to the power of 65 is divided by is divided by 101. Hmm? Not 101, it is divided by 7. It's divided by 7. Hmm. 41 to the power of 65 is divided by 7. So here, this 65, this number, you factorize it, it will get 13 and 5. 13 5 is 65. So, uh, this is a little bit of uh, difficult because to grow we can't move to the grassroots level here the only way is 41 congruent minus 1 see 41 minus minus uh, 1 that is 42 is divisible by 7 that is mod 7 now i take power 13 to both side so if you take 13 to both side, 13 is equal to minus 1 to the power of 13 mod 7 mod 7 because this is an uh, power is odd so your answer will be negative. So 41 to the power of 13 congruent minus 1 mod 7. Now, um, mod 7. Now, here we have to make the remainder positive. The next important point is we have to make the remainder positive. Because if you take power 5, again it will be uh, power 5 odd and answer will be minus 1. So, for this, let me do like this 41 to the power of 13 congruent minus 1 congruent 6 mod 7 here you see because minus 1 minus 6 a minus b minus, minus 7 and it is divisible by 7 so your result comes out to be 41 to the power of 13 congruent 6 mod 7 here no other way is left with me. I have to take power 5 to get 65. So 41 to the power of 13 to the whole power 5 congruent 6 to the power of 5 mod 7. So this will be 41 to the power of 65 congruent 6 to the power of 5 mod 7. As you know that 6 to the power of 5 is greater than 7. So we have to move to a downward level. So let us let me first of all six. What is the value of six to the power of five by the help of calculator? So six to the power of five. This is uh, six into six. Uh, six into six into six into six into six. Thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six into thirty six into six. So here, your 36 into 36 into 6. Oh, so this comes out to be 7, 7, 7, 6. And if you subtract 6, this is a 7, 7, 7, 0. It is divisible by uh, 7. So problem is solved. So I am going to the downward level. 41 to the power of 65 congruent 6 to the power of 5 congruent 6 mod 7 yes so here it comes out to be so here it comes out to be how much 
41 to the power of 65 congruent 6 mod 7 so your remainder is so your remainder is 6 6 now i am going to the next question your next question is next question let me what is your next question Here your next question, you find the remainder, question number 6, uh, find the remainder, remainder when 100 to the power of 100 is divided by, by 101, oh sorry, by 101 by 101 so here you see that from the graph the grassroot level that is uh, uh, 100 congruent minus 1 mod 7 because 100 minus minus oh mod 7 uh, mod 101 because 100 minus minus 1 that is plus 1 and it is uh, uh, your this is uh, how much uh, uh, 101 it is divisible by so now you can do this in one step only because uh, your minus 1 to the power of 100 because it is even so it will be 1 so no problem the better you in, in, there is no need of going to uh, in intermediate state you can do directly 100 to the power of 100 in congruent minus 1 to the power of 100 mod 101 so this comes out to be 100 to the power of 100 uh, congruent because this is even power so 1 mod 101 so your remainder is uh, remainder uh, remainder is 1 so you see that no intermediate stage squaring both side again uh, you can do like this also say like this 100 no congruent minus 1 mod 101 so squaring both side congruent <coughs> square mod 101 so now this is 100 square uh, 100 square congruent 1 mod 101 now how much 50 to the power of 50 100 square to the power of 50 congruent 1 to the power of 50 mod 101 so here 100 to the power of 100 congruent to 1 mod 101 <coughs> so your remainder is remainder is 1 you can do in this way also or you can impose any intermediate step if you like because uh, there is no problem so your remainder is 1. Now my next question is question number 7 that is find the remainder find the remainder when when 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus dot 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 plus 50 factorial is divided by is divided divided by 15 it is divided by 15 so how to solve it i will move from the minimum factorial which is divisible by 15 so your minimum factorial which is divisible by 15 it is 5 factorial it is 5 factorial because 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 15 factor is present here similarly 6 is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 here you see 15 fa factor is present so it starts from 5 factorial now if you are going to write in congruency form in modular form how will you write it I am going to write it like this 5 factorial congruent 0 mod 
फिफ्टी सिक्स फैक्टोरियल कॉन्वेंट जीरो मॉड फिफ्टीन इन दिस वे फिफ्टी फैक्टोरियल कॉन्वेंट जीरो मॉड फिफ्टीन आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इट इन दिस वे सो नाउ वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज दैट टू फाइंड दिस रिमाइंडर इन कॉन्ग्रेंसी फॉर्म दैट इज इन मॉड्यूलर फॉर्म आई एम गोइंग टू राइट लाइक दिस वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस डॉट 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 प्लस फिफ्टी फैक्टोरियल कॉन्ग्रेंट मीन बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू रिमूव दिस वन फैक्टोरियल टू फैक्टोरियल थ्री फैक्टोरियल एंड फोर फैक्टोरियल इफ यू रिमूव दिस फोर फैक्टोरियल प्लस फाइव फैक्टोरियल प्लस सिक्स फैक्टोरियल प्लस फिफ्टी फैक्टोरियल इफ यू फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू रिमूव रिमूव दिस पार्ट द रेस्ट पार्ट इज डिविजिबल बाई फिफ्टीन सो कॉन्ग्रेंट वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस थ्री फैक्टोरियल या दिस इज फोर फैक्टोरियल प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो एंड अप टू हाउ मच टू फिफ्टी देन मॉड फिफ्टीन नाउ हियर आई फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज ऑफ वन फैक्टोरियल इज वन टू फैक्टोरियल इज टू थ्री फैक्टोरियल इज सिक्स एंड फोर फैक्टोरियल इज योर फोर फैक्टोरियल इज फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन सो ट्वेल्व टू ट्वेल्व टू जेंटी फोर सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर मॉड फिफ्टीन सो हियर यू सी वन फैक्टोरियल वन टू फैक्टोरियल इज टू थ्री फैक्टोरियल इज सिक्स एंड योर फोर फैक्टोरियल इज फोर थ्री ट्वेल्व टू जेंटी फोर सो आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस वन फैक्टोरियल प्लस टू फैक्टोरियल प्लस थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस फोर फैक्टोरियल प्लस फाइव फैक्टोरियल प्लस डॉट 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 प्लस फिफ्टी फैक्टोरियल कॉन वेन दिस मॉड फिफ्टीन सो द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस कम्स आउट टू बी योर ट्वेंटी so it comes out to be 33 so here one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial plus four factorial plus five factorial plus dot 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 plus 50 factorial congruent uh, this is 33 33 mod 15 since 33 is greater than uh, 15 so i will move to another downward level this is very easy you can see one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial plus four factorial plus five factorial uh, dot 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 plus 50 factorial <coughs> congruent 33 again congruent 3 it is mod 15 <coughs> 33 minus 3 it is 30 which is divisible by 15 so you are One factorial for two factorial, three factorial plus four factorial plus five factorial plus dot 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 plus fifty factorial congruent three mod fifteen. So your remainder is remainder is remainder is three. Let me check the answer. Your remainder is three. So let me check the answer. Question number seven. Remainder three. So this is all about. congruency of integers modulo a fixed integer